Hello people. So the Monty tournament just happened like last week. That means that I can make a video about this build. And this build being Teachers of the Shroud. There's like three things in the recent patches that made this viable. It was the Teachers of the Shroud now gives you Mind Over Matter agenda, which gives you high level leaders. Then Anglers with high level leaders increases the base amount produced, which allows you to use Catalytic then to make a lot of alloys, and that just means that this build is extremely pop efficient. It's bio, so there's not a lot of pop growth, but you will be able to hit like 35 food produced per angler and 20 alloys per metallurgist at around year 35, and it peaks at year 35 because you have a lot of temporary boosts, but it is a pretty cool build because of how everything works together. And uh, the settings that I'm using here are just the settings that are used in the Monty tournament. And this is just the mod, it's just uh, scoring. So, first you want to try to find your smallest world and then build on that. That will be your energy and research world. These worlds are, I guess, the same size. It doesn't matter. But then your second world is going to be the bigger world, and it will be only uh, anglers. And for your text, just like take economy and stuff. Um, unemployed and enforcer, artisan, and because you're playing bio, just like prioritize miners. And uh, if you want some free money, you can dismantle your crew quarters and your trade hub. So, oh yeah, there's another thing that makes this build really good. It's that there's a high-level trait on admirals called Genius Armor, and Genius Armor is buffs your ship by giving them base, shield, and armor, and it also gives them hardening. So you're going to be building corvettes, and then that just is going to make our ship extremely strong. And uh, we're going to be trying to get as many genius armors as possible. So that's why our ruler is also an admiral, and uh, we're going to hire another admiral later. So uh, you have these factions. This faction wants benevolent, so just like put that on, and then I promote both of them. Uh, we have crystals because we're playing Teacher of the Shroud, so we can just keep scouting. It's pretty free. Like scouting with the sensors. Um, like you can go aggressive, but I'm probably just gonna go proactive. Why not? Oh my god, this guy's so close. It's actually crazy. Yeah. Also, since this is gonna mimic, like, multiplayer, I am gonna just, like, piece the AIs out if they attack or something. So you can go statecraft, and then we need this before the agenda gets launched that you start with. You're able to squeeze it in by taking the left side and then the right side. It's possible. What you could even do as well is you could um, hire your Shroud Governor and then get the agenda, but I'm not going to do that because I want my research lab more. It won't make too big of a difference. We'll get an agenda's worth of XP on one guy. So, what's important is that at year 10, we are going to reform, um, we're going to reform out of parliamentary and we're going to go into oligarchic and meritocracy. For that to work, we need to re-elect another leader in the democratic re-election, because for some reason, if your ruler changes, then you can reform your government early. And re-electing your leader, as a democracy, you need like support. 
and support is kind of dependent on factions. So right now our spiritualist faction is really popular, I guess, and uh, that means that this spiritualist ruler is going to have a lot of support. You just need another spiritualist, so this scientist spiritualist, that just means that we're going to re-elect the scientist, and then since we want an admiral on the ruler side, we're going to just emergency re-elect the ruler back in. Okay, I'm just going to ignore that. And then expand the council. Okay, so I built, I got enough uh, minerals. Okay, I got enough minerals for two laps. Now I'm just going to save up money. I'm not going to the system because it's an L gates and it's going to give me bad technologies. Oh. Oh wait, no, that's a combat report for this. Yeah, that's just like some weird bio event. I don't really care too much about it. I'm going to unemploy two clerks to make room for uh, the researchers we just got. And actually... Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the next tradition that we're going to take is enmity, so actually it doesn't matter if you uh, fill it out right now, because it it only take, it only gives you any benefits as soon as you finish it, and we're going to be staying under 100 Empire size the entire game, so you don't need it right now or at any time. You're not in a hurry. We need a third commander, and I would hire... I'd hire a commander if they had a good trait. The good, the best traits are like politician for agenda or I have talent for XP. So you can see that the most important thing is like just getting X things that affect agenda and XP speed so that you can get higher level leaders. I'm gonna buy some food for the second colony ship. Stop buying food. We're saving money again. We're trying to save money to buy the Shroud Governor because right now it's 500 energy credits. It like goes up with your empire size, so if you do it sooner rather than later, you just save money. Yeah, next check we can get it. Nice. Unemploy one more clerk, and then, uh, that'll be fine. Okay, now that we got him, we can start buying minerals again, and then you're going to be buying 42 minerals for the entire game. <laughs> Planetary settlement procedure cool. Turn this on. Why not? And uh, because we are making a bit of consumer goods, eventually we're gonna like unemployed room metallurgists and then go to civilian economy in like a few years, but I'm gonna hold on a bit since I still have metallurgists, but you can go utopian abundance like It will just give you more unity from the factions, and honestly, I'm gonna do it like now. It sells to be good soon. So, like I said, you are pushing mind over matter to get XP. And that's because my never matter is like the cooldown is very short. 
the the agenda order is going to be like infinite opportunities, expand the council, and then mind over matter, and then you're going to be doing like a big agenda, and then mind over matter. So it's going to be like expand the council, mind over matter, give and take, mind over matter, uh, evil in society, mind over matter. Yeah. The only other agenda that's like that short, that's not an ascension agenda, is second strikes amnity, which we're also going to take amnity, so we will have that too. Oh, so you want to be looking out for a second scientist because it's just helpful. Um, these ones don't really have any good traits though, so you know, ignore it. Like, uh, Spark of Genius is the best trait. Yeah, on your capital, you're just building only research. Wow, we are blocked by aliens. Okay, I'm just gonna like go here a bit. Unemploy my commander so he has no way to fucking die. There. I'm gonna build a starbase, and then uh, the next research lab I'm going to unemployed metallurgists from. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. Okay, this guy can go through. Oh, uh, there's not even anything there. I could upgrade the starport in preparation for when I get hydroponic bids, but I'm just gonna like uh, take these deposits. Alert! Non-standard space entity encounter. Ah, uh, rip that Corvette. Doesn't really matter though. The only reason I need Corvettes is to scout people for first contacts because uh, first contacting speeds up the Paragon research, and also you need enough people to rival for Amity. But once you get that, you don't really need to meet anyone. In a multiplayer game, it's a lot easier because players are incentivized to meet each other. Whereas in a single player game, also like uh, for a text, you just like want economy, and then there's not a lot of like required text. Only required tech is colonial centralization for society. The uh, in single player, these AIs will not be that. They won't be rushing to meet me, so. Construction complete. Okay, it is your five, so it's like a fine scientist. We need a scientist, anyways. And, uh, Planetary surface settlement established. Okay, the first thing you build, by the way, is an energy district on your first colony, which, like I said, is going to be energy and research. But yeah, it's all like, okay. <laughs> and they're all like useless, but whatever. 
I'm gonna push expand the council when the cost gets to like 1,000. I mean, you can't even. Oh, hundred mark face. There's another freaking alien right there. Oh. Okay. Wow, dude. Yeah, okay. There's so much shit blocking off contacts. If I can't find enough people, I'll just use console commands and find everyone. Because uh, the enmity unity is like necessary. Also, that's another thing where, like, it, um, this is a multiplayer game. I can only fit 14 AIs on 400 stars, but in multiplayer games with 20 players on 400 stars, it's much more cramped, which also makes it a lot easier to find people. Wow, that sucks. They just kind of went in. Uh, I'm gonna go to civilian economy now. Okay, cool. So, like, this is generally when you want to do it, then go mind over matter. And I'm putting the Shroud Rock on Speaker of Parliament now, because he can give more council agenda speed. Um, oh yeah, this trade is good too, but only for themselves. Yeah. I'm actually gonna wait till your turn and then hire a commander. Surface variable detected. Planetary surface settlement established. Okay, now that we got our colonies, we can go isolationist. And, uh, yeah, it's just gonna be only agriculture districts. This is the tech, by the way, that meeting people gives you. So you have to meet like four or five people and you get it for free. Mind over matter. It looks like it costs a lot to push, but that's just because the duration is so short. Like it went down 1,000 unity in a month. So push this at like nine months, it'll be like 800. annoying. This guy's kind of building towards me. Oh, what else? oh well, whatever. That oh, should, should be a factory. Construction I'm just gonna hire an admin right now, and I'm gonna like, explore these systems.
Oh, I really do have one Corvette. <laughs> well, hopefully it like breaks out like that, but if not, then whatever. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Push this and let go, give it a tick. Construction complete. Oh my god, this border gore. Dude. Technological acquisition successful. Asteroid sighted. Okay, it's right to the starbase. It, like, should die. Construction complete. Who wasn't right to the starbase? Well, ideally, you want your Corvettes to deal with it, but if not, then I guess I'd build, like. Oh. Maybe I do have to build a gun for battery. But you can also build like a defense platform, I guess. Yeah, I actually don't know if it's gonna hit or not. Oh well. Technological acquisition successful. Seconds needed. Where is that? Oh. Dude, how- Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Well, I I'm definitely taking this to some. There's like too many minerals. Yeah, I don't need that gun battery. Yeah, it's dead. I kind of want to put this on just to get faster agendas, but this research speed is also like really good. Okay, we got a ton of food now, so we can start selling surplus. We can turn this on too, we got that. Um, Xamaton Prime? Yeah, we're not gonna be making any society, so I'm just gonna ignore that. If it was on my research world, I would have clicked the society one, but like, this is gonna produce a little bit of unity, so. Also, yeah, I like putting in a metallurgist because the uh, makes a little alloys. Actually, you need a you need the star base module as well. It gives XP, so you have to do that at some point. It's not too soon though. Anyways, the elections are coming up, and uh, yeah. I always unemploy an artifactor. I don't really want them kidnapping my pops. So for this selection, you see on my ruler, the spiritualist ruler has a lot of uh, support. And then the spiritualist scientists, they have a lot of support. And this commander, he's an egalitarian, I think. 
so he's all the way down here. Oh cool, here's another alien species, I think. Complete. I'm gonna build here, and then that's probably the last one. Though I would like some archaeological sites. Okay, cool. So, um, the researcher got into the ruler slot, and now you can reform to oligarchy with meritocracy. And then uh, you need to put your ruler back as an app. So like, just do something like this, and then uh, you can uh, emergency elect him back in. So your end configuration should always look like this. Instead of a parliamentary, oh, we don't even have parliamentary, like the civic. But you need ministry of the seeds because it gives you too much economy. And this can be anything, but we have three commanders, so your end setup should always look like uh, one commander, one commander, one commander. You have three in total that you're all going to level up, and that's literally just gambling for GA. And then you have a Ministry of the Seeds and a Head of Research. A foreign entity has decrypted our communication. Cool, this is another empire. Complete. Now that we did all that, we were saving up unity so that we could have enough unity, but... Council agenda available. Yeah, I can't finish it. And then anyways, also our unity is really low because our factions died. They'll be back in like a year or something. There you go. You can put in luxury goods. Ah, oh, fuck, I entered the L gate. <laughs> Whatever. Um, this is just kind of a meme because it's gonna like clog up your text, but honestly, it only matters like in the late games. Okay. Also, this, uh, when it's a small amount of unity, the definition is up to 83. You need 83 unity a month to get the max amount of unity, which is like 1,000 over 12 years, that's why it's 83, I think. So we're at 68, which is close enough to 80, so it's like fine. Finish this. And then uh, take transcendent learning. Also, because uh, we reacted a little ruler, you also have your policies reset, so you can go to isolationist to antagonistic. And then I'm gonna meet this guy, I'm gonna rival him, and then I'm probably just gonna use console commands to meet the rest of the people in the game. If this is multiplayer, like you just, uh, you ask for communications, and then if everyone has enmity, then everyone wants communications. So it's very easy to just meet the entire lobby at like year 15. Not an employee angler. It's selling a lot of food, so I don't even need it. Yeah, I'm gonna push this at like a thousand cost. Oh. I guess at like seven, eight hundred, because I don't have enough. And I'm just employing their basic resources job so that people, when they're born into the world, they are either a basic resources job or unemployed. Real.
Also, this gives you an edict called education campaign. You need to turn it on every time you push an agenda. It's like right now. Well, actually, yeah. Situation log adjusted. Twenty four minerals from stations. That's okay. So this build does seem a bit slow. Like right now I'm at T forty science at year twelve. And uh that's cause it is the amount of like economy you have at year 30 to 35 is significantly higher than what you have right now. So that's like one of the weaknesses of the build where if you get attacked early on or if you're forced to like, like your economy is going to be stretched really thin. If you're forced to spend your money on like ships or like some random shit, then you kind of fuck up all your timings. Because you see, we're making like 8 alloys, it's going to stay like that until like year 30. Really. Well, if this guy dies, oh well. Successful. Yeah, after cloning, I'm gonna research the Paragon one manually. Construction complete. Yeah, there's no way I want that. This one doesn't even do anything for me either. Whatever. Unfortunate. I never matter, I guess like nine months I'm gonna launch it. Acquisition successful. Cool, we have mining subsidies now. Um, we can barely squeeze it in. Then I'm gonna do Evolving Society. Okay, you like need Forged Focus, which is a trait that just gives you more alloys. Um, this is good. Like, Forge Focus is the best, so if I saw that, I would have taken that. Oh, these are the people that we... Oh, interesting, we met two aliens. Oh, nice. So, I won't have to... I think I'll get this tech entirely for free. This is gonna be the last research lab. Also, there is literally only one district left, so yeah. And uh, the goal is before Evolving Society, you take this, which increases the duration of Evolving Society. We're going to be able to do it this time because we have enough unity. 
Like, I got some unity events. If you don't get them, you might not be able to. Oh yeah, this tech is mandatory by the way. The weight of it actually goes down as uh, you get more tech, so you need to research it sooner rather than later. Or like... Like if you don't have a year 30, you're kind of screwed, so... Oh shit, we're out of crystals. Oh well, I'm, I could scout with my Adderall, but I don't want to risk him dying, so I won't. Yeah, but the build order is kind of pretty simple, like, every time this world is about to have a pop that's not working, angler drops, or pearl divers, you just build a district. And this is just like building research labs until you need energy, and then you have to build generator districts. So right now, my economy is like, fine, so I've been, sh I've been uh, building only research. Also, like, you can switch to tech at some point. Yeah, it's probably better. So there's like not any like mandatory engineering text you need past minimum purification plants and then like planetary build speed. So I'm gonna hold engineering research for a bit. Um, this is to get forges, hollow forges faster. Also, this these blockers need to be cleared, and then you need to build industrial districts. You're not gonna work them; you just need them built so that at year thirty you can turn on the forges of industry. And go from like zero alloy income to two hundred. And then you want to get to like 300. You can also get to like 400 if you have everything going perfectly. Which is like getting Forge Focus level 3, which we did not get, so... I mean, yeah, this build is like pretty RNG because it uses leaders a lot and leader traits are totally random. Construction complete. Like, there, there's a small chance that even though we have three admirals and the chance of getting GA on any admiral is 58%. There's a small chance we don't get a single GA and then it's like why are you playing this build at all if you're not going to get the OP destiny trait that you worked 35 years for. Just like, just unlucky, there's nothing you can really do about it. Technological acquisition successful. Technological acquisition successful. I kind of want to research this. Stage four. I'm just going to finish it. So the worst thing that can happen is going into a consumer goods deficit. Because since you're on utopian abundance, going into a consumer goods deficit reduces the 20% happiness, which then reduces production, which then puts you into a greater consumer goods deficit. It's pretty fucked up, actually. So I think the next pop I get from spelling. I shall do it now. I'll just like get another artisan. Technological acquisition successful. And then need to build the interstellar recruitment office. Planetary nice. So like I said, colonial, colonial centralization is like the most important tech, other than like disruptors, because this is required for Psycorps, and Psycorps produces shit ton of immunity.
Nice, for convenience. Council agenda available. Okay, so that's just a really important. Um, like the mind over matter. Like I said, you're firing it every time you finish a big agenda, and that should also kind of like tell you when you should be done with your agenda. So, ideally, I'd like to fire this agenda right now. Do mind over matter, but our province is a bit slow. We don't have any politicians, which would speed this up so much. But probably gonna launch it next month. Wow. I guess I can only take the society. I'm just gonna see if these guys can like organically give me contacts, and if not, I'm gonna use console commands, which will also show me everything else. Man, these AI are useless. Honestly, like compared to multiplayer, it's pretty fucking late getting six rivalries at year 17. It is totally possible to get it at like year 11. I'd say like year 14 is like normal. So I just had a bit less unity. It's whatever. Is this guy gonna attack me? Yeah, I'm just gonna piss him out if they do. I can build this too. Why not? It applies to anglers. So you can already see how we're, we're making 18 food per pop. Like, why is the base 10.4 food? Why the fuck not? And they even produce trade. I'm actually making so much just off of that. But like, it kind of seems like we have a lot of resources, but... Not really. Like I said, you need to be building like industrial districts the entire time, even if you're not using them. And then, when this tech comes unlocked, you have to upgrade it. Also, there's like something you can do if you want to scale. You can like try to take these worker pops and then move them to your colonies, so you can move them to technician jobs and angler jobs. And your goal is to try to get your second colony to 25 pops so that you can get a Psycorp on that, and that just helps you scale more because Psycorps provide a shit ton of unity. You don't need 25 pops forever, you just need 25 pops to upgrade the capital, and then you can uh, even move all the pops back off to other worlds. But that's something you do if you want to scale. It takes a lot of resources because you're resettling people. Yeah, I'm just going to take chemical plants. Okay, I'll create this too. Hey, this is a really nice tech, but chemical plants is necessary. And then, uh, departmental efficiency. I was actually like maybe two months late on that. I could have pushed earlier. It's not that big of a deal, but... Yeah, I actually don't have enough minerals to upgrade this. Also, if they're unemployed, they just have a chance to go into different worlds. So like right now, I don't really want them to work anything. I'm just going to keep it unemployed and hope that they fuck off. Also, you can see like during this entire run, Empire Set is going to be below 100. And we're going to be doing a lot of things to make sure it stays under 100. So... Finishing statecraft reduces empire size by 5%, and it also, re you take imperial prerogative. When you finish psionic theory, you get even more reduction. Anomalous 
single surface variable detected. Dude, this guy's mad. Yeah, I'm just kind of waiting. So, we need to launch departmental efficiency when minor matter is up. That will be a year 21, three months in. I might resettle like two pops to this world though. Oh yeah, also this official is like useless, you can fire him, but if you want someone to just be on the galactic community, you can put him there, but... Oh, I forgot to promote these factions after they spawn back at year 11. That's probably why these guys showed up. Complete. Anomalous surface variable detected. Yeah, I kind of wish I had less food right now. It's on resettlement. It like make sure egalitarian's a bit mad, but it's whatever. After this is done upgrading, I'm gonna move pops. If I move pops right now, I wouldn't be able to do the upgrade since there wouldn't be ten pops. Ah, I wish I had dig site. Dig sites are free money. You can just sell the artifacts. This is gonna be psionics. We don't have psionics yet, so it's just gonna be banked a bit. Anomalous surface variable detected. Technological acquisition successful. Okay, we have chemical mode, so you can start researching whatever the fuck you want. Stop buying alloys, actually. Like minerals, actually. Technological acquisition successful. Anomalous surface variable detected. T1.3, so in like five months. So some paragons are like kind of useful, this one's not though. Just gonna ignore him. Technological acquisition successful. Wow, nice. 
Honestly, we're like a bit naive of unity uh, energy, so I might build an energy grid next and then actually employ some technicians. Okay, maybe after another research lab. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're losing a lot of food, but we're also selling a lot, so it doesn't really matter. Alert. Non -standard space entity okay. Okay, you can push it now. Wow, that sucks. We did not get forge focus on the dude. So like, that just means we're gonna be making 20%, well not like actually 20%, but there's gonna be like 20% less alloys. Uh, there's not gonna be a 20% alloy modifier. It's kinda fucked up because there's like three different chances to get that. So. I guess I'm gonna take manufacturing too. Why not? And then I need to do this. I'm gonna sell some alloys. Start buying food again. Sorry, buying minerals again. Also, the reason why I'm uh, not researching society is because now that we have colonial centralization, you don't need it anymore. And, uh, I want to save up society for the covenants. Oh god, that's a city district. I meant to build a special district. At some point, I'm going to build a chemical plant as well. I won't do it yet. I could wait another month, but technological acquisition successful. But yeah, so because I finished Cyanox, you can take Cyanox now. You can run Cyanox Supremacy. I could have waited another month, but I have side corpse. So Yeah. Pretty funny how this AI just builds up. It's going to be pretty good for the economy. <laughs> Anomalous surface. 
I don't even know if a console command to like disable the Galcom, but there's only a margin. Oh, nice. Maybe we'll offset this fucking trait. But yeah. I don't know, I don't really want to build this now though. So, we're not going to be building that many labs, just maybe I'll build one or two more labs, but our research will still keep going up. That's just because we're going to get more efficiency bonuses, so there's going to be psionic supremacy and then you reset your you take a covenant and that for some reason allows you to take psionic supremacy again it stacks perfectly and then I'm gonna dip prosperity and take favorite society also our shroud governor should get the uh... there's a trait and I think it actually has a high weight on the shroud governor or like spiritualists or whatever it gives like 25% production to psionic pops, so then with those four efficiency bonuses, we're already going to be hitting like 100% efficiency. She's going to build an energy grid. Not going to be greedy. Also going to like unemploy a miner. Yeah, pushing psionic supremacy, that will be when mind over matter comes up, which is 25.6. It's pretty, like, neat how the cooldown for being able to push things just matches up with when mind over matter comes off. It's, like, almost a coincidence. Or, like, it doesn't seem like it's a coincidence, it almost means like it's not a coincidence, but it literally is. Yeah, I'm just gonna set score this. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, I had that on. Technological acquisition successful. Yeah, it's just kind of waiting. Okay, I'm gonna build like one more research lab. That'll actually be it. I guess. Oh my god, did you guys make a fed? No. It's the same colored. Oh. I lost arrival. Technological acquisition successful. Sure, why not crystal mines? Uh I'm sure this guy doesn't actually get employed. 
I only need him at like year uh, 30. I need Hollow Forges by year 30. Construction complete. Look, I really wish I had breached the shroud right now, so Anonymous then I could set up Sonic Supremacy twice. If I had Entity earlier, you, I think you would be able to squeeze it in. Agenda available. Okay, cool. That's the queue to launch. <laughs> I guess I'll go Adventure Spirit 2. Wow. I am having a bit too much uh, side research, so I'll research some random stuff. Oh yeah, that reminded me. So, this build is, uh, like I said, has really high pop efficiency. And if you find primitives that are like bio, and you can invade them, that is a huge buff to your entire game because you will just have really high efficiency and really high pop count. Um, when you take this, you need to assimilate your prims to psionic. And then, you just like... Put a side corpse on their Logical capital and then like just use them. Even if they're like zero percent habitability, just put them as anglers. They'll still make a shit ton of food. I think I'm going to run a higher purpose. This is like a pretty bad one, but I just need to run something. I don't want to have periods where I have nothing to run. Also, once we push this, we will have the Shrouded Governor upgrade. Hopefully. Like, dude, the upgrade is weighted, so you like... Probably should get it. I'm gonna wait one more month. That's such a high cost. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So it's just like 25% resources from pops and then 12% for everything in the sector. Nice. We're at 560 research. Anomalous surface variable detected. Technological acquisition successful. one pop up. I'll take this. But I will really be saving for breaching the shroud. Actually I think I have enough already, so it's fine. But yeah like five alloys, five sixty research and three fifty unity. Technological acquisition successful. Oh, these are good. Then I also have this crystal mine, so I can actually use that. I'm gonna build this. Oh, but I need another building slot after. Oh, whatever. Be fine. Technological acquisition successful.
Okay, so take this, and then, uh, you just random. This is why I saved up society, because it takes, like, society. And then after you do this, you have to do another breach the shroud, and then you get your covenant. And then there's, like, an internal timer that starts, and... When you, like, get enough points, you can, uh, reset psionic supremacy. Actually, when you get enough points, you can, like, build your buildings and stuff. I think... I'm not sure how the su psionic supremacy reset works. But yeah. I'm gonna build a alloy foundry after this, and I'm gonna have to upgrade it. Anomalous surface variable detected. So I'm gonna start researching anomalies at this point. Acquisition successful. Okay, so I'm starting to make a few alloys, but this is gonna be like, just like, I don't wanna be too greedy and make more consumer goods. Like, yeah, it's that 19 pops. If I move 6 pops and then got the Psycorps, I'd be making a lot more unity. Like, uh, the Psycorps makes 80 unity, but that's because of this as well. But Psycorps here would be. It'd also be giving like 10% just resource for jobs, so it's definitely better to scale, but moving 6 pops is not so easy. Yeah, so second. My number matter comes up in a year about 29.9. Actually, I'm gonna do minor matter to do favor to a prosperity, because I can take that. Oh yeah, you need a thousand money, so, uh, I don't know, just sell. Situation log adjusted. Cool. Technological acquisition successful. Okay, there's like two months, I guess. I kinda just wanna buy it right now, though. Council agenda available. Yeah, and then I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run this and then reform, I think. Yeah. So, uh. Logical acquisition successful. When you reform. You're gonna, I'm gonna reform into catalytic, and that's gonna mean you're only gonna have three, two commander slots left. Ideally, you have a commander that's level eight, so that he doesn't need to be on the council anymore. But uh, we didn't really get any like lucky events or whatever. Special project complete. Oh, this is the worst one, by the way. It can like murder your leaders, but whatever. Like you see, our leader is halfway to level. Eight, so he's like really close. But Oh. 
all the specialists moved to this world. I just realized that's really why. Whatever. So great, re great researcher is like ideal for scaling, but if you need the XP, because you, if your leaders are like behind schedule and you're not gonna get them to level eight before the peace timer, then you like need to take this. I don't think I need to take it. I might though. Technological acquisition successful. Now I'll take it just because my other two level leaders are like a bit low level. No, this is really good. Okay, so I'm gonna go to reform in like five months. Oh, I think I'm gonna push this at like nine months and then reform. It's gonna be like three months of no catalytic though. Uh, cool. Nice. Inspired arts. How the fuck do I have this guy? Okay. You get you took the buttons. Technological acquisition successful. Um, so this, it doesn't really matter, I'm not gonna choose, cause it's gonna randomly select, if, like, either of these are leader, then that's fine. I'm more worried about this, though. Okay, I'm gonna wait one more month, and I'm gonna push it. Oh shit, I don't even have a weapon. So, like, you need a weapon, and that weapon is always disruptive, actually, there's nothing else. Yeah, useless. Okay, cool. So this guy got level 8, and he got genius armor, and that's... So then, uh... This random election is gonna pick something. I need to, like, switch first. So, uh, I don't really care who the election picks because I'm gonna emergency elect back in. Um, this time instead of meritocracy, you have the catalytic position. That's also why we have, like, another scientist so that you can actually put him on. And then, uh, you're making alloys now, so, like, switch to militarized. You can turn on forge capital. Just like uh, murder your temple. I'll avoid this. Just gonna see what happens to our economy. Okay, so oh, that's not good. So I'm also gonna turn this to. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn this to like uh, decent conditions, and then. We need a lot more anklers, which is normal, because we are now making a shit ton of, uh, what's it called? We have a shit ton of alloy jobs, so... But yeah, and you need to turn on farming subsidies, you can take off mining subsidies, you know, I, I haven't even had any mineral job for a while. Okay, now our economy's like pretty much fixed. And I'm buying, uh... I'm buying this, which is... oh shit, I'm also selling food. Okay, who do they choose? Wow, that's actually perfect, because uh, what so what I was going to do is, if this guy got on the council, I needed to swap him out with another commander, because he doesn't need XP anymore, he got level 8. So, it just swapped in the right guy for me, nice. Technological acquisition successful. Now we're just making 260 alloys. And this would be 300 if we had Forge Focus. Whatever. I think 
I forgot what the numbers for Forge Focus were. It's like, I think it's 10%, 20%, and then like 35%. Rip. Technological acquisition successful. I'm gonna take this. Council agenda available. They're both fine. It's unity. Cool. Yeah, I wish I had less pearl divers. Oh, but you can see how, like, if you had, like, 10 more pops, that would be so impactful. Right now, anglers make 33.36. And our metallurgists make 14. Oh, that's not a metallurgist. They'll make even more once I push a favorite society. And then I'm going to push the sign of covenant, and I'll be, like, right at year 35. I think I'm just going to launch this as soon as I can, actually. Because we have, I have a lot of agendas to push. I need to run second strike and mind over matter. Mind over matter is up at 23.10. Like, I'm not even going to fill this out. Oh yeah, by the way, when you fill this out, you'll have a third civic slot. There's like three things to pick, I think. You could go become the crisis, just uh, terrorize the galaxy. Or you could take Galactic Force Projection, which is just like, it's okay. It gives you a bunch of naval capacity and fleet command limit. Um, you can also take Arcology Project, and you have enough tech. Like, I could have had Anti-Gravity here if I... Or, like, I'll definitely have Anti-Gravity in the next few years, and you, like, have very little mineral upkeep. So, if you could somehow get an Ecumenopolis, you are so good. I might have to unemploy some metallurgists for a bit. Technological acquisition successful. I think I'm gonna wait a month and I'm gonna push favorite society. Yeah. Ah, I'm gonna wait another month, dude. Special project. Wow, Forge Focus. Cool. Cool. Oh god, so in 28 months, like, this is how you get five hundred dollars a month if you have like both of these or like just one of these tips, especially nanoplants, and then you get um you get forge focus like level three right here. And actually, that's all you need for five hundred dollars a month at year thirty-five. Your economy will be like very thin. Like your research, you're gonna have to like get rid of a bunch of researchers, but um you will have a shit ton of you'll have a shit ton of alloys. So yeah. Oh, so like you notice how I literally only made alloys at year 30. I'm already at 9k alloys and that's just because I'm making so much. I even want to buy that. Yeah, in two years, so it's going to be 35. I'm not actually going to be able to build nano plants. Mind over matters up in five months. And I'm just hoping that I get the second psionic supremacy. If I don't, then I will have nothing to put in, which is kind of pathetic and sad.
Oh, and I also realized I haven't really been researching disruptors. Though, like if I had <laughs> blue lasers, I would have taken it, but I kind of forgot about that. Usually though, getting disruptors is really easy. It's like not that much of a problem. I might even just like, I could use constant commands to get disruptors, but I might just build like with lasers or something. It shouldn't change uh, the numbers too much. In terms of DPS, anyways. Okay, I'm gonna wait a month, and then I'm going to push. Being declared on again. Successful. <laughs> wow, that sucks. Communications alert. <laughs> okay, so these guys are both level 7. This, he might hit level 8 on the next click, and then it'll probably take one more agenda for this guy to reach level 8. It's not even that much of a problem though if you don't have level 8 leaders at exactly 35 because you just like avoid combat for a year while you launch another agenda. I feel like it's not normal to not have sign like I should have Sionic Supremacy as an option right now. But oh well. That's just another 20% production I'm missing out on. Oh shoot, I'm capped. Sure, side ships, why not? I actually... Okay, I guess I'm gonna wait for that to be done. Yeah... Kinda wish I had it right now. Anyways, but this will kind of be super scalable, like, getting nano plants and then, uh, you upgrade it, you just, like, move, like, two more pops here, or, like, three more pops, and then you can afford the nano plants. Like, literally, if I had ten anglers here, that would be 300 food. It's just so, the pop efficiency is so insane. Okay, I'm gonna, like, let this finish, and then I'm going to... See how many allies I have. Technological acquisition successful. Oh, nice. Wow, he got GA too. So, um, we have two GAs right now. If you like, yeah. If you're if you're fighting and you need to put your GA, in, just like emergency reelect the Ministry of Defense to ruler again. But this is like, this is a pretty standard build. I don't think there's anything like too lucky here. There was also wasn't anything too unlucky. Um, it's every unlucky that I didn't get Forge Focus at a higher level. And also not getting Psionic Supremacy from the Covenant is kind of sad. Um, I might show that actually just to show you what it looks like. But even if he had all that, it would only be like 100 more alloys, like it's not gonna make or break your entire game. And the most important thing is just to see that like right now, you are definitely outproducing just everyone else in the galaxy. So okay, these ARs are never fucking representative. But um if you compare it to like multiplayer numbers, 
if you're not playing this build, you're gonna get like less. If you're not playing uh, TOS, you're gonna get like 200 or something with like robots or hive, maybe plus 300. But you're definitely not gonna be able to scale it up so easily because in the next five years, I'm gonna get nano plants. I'm gonna place this down. This is free, and then I'm gonna get nano plants. I'm gonna upgrade, and I just like every single pop that I grow, I put it into like angler jobs and then I keep taking jobs away from my researchers to be put into technicians and your alloy income will just like skyrocket to like 500 and you are gonna need to snowball that by taking tributaries around you but you are in like a pretty strong position right now also your tech score isn't even that bad because 200 tech score a year 35 that's enough to get like one tier 6 techs, uh, tier 3 tech. sorry. So, like, I got a tier 3 tech in society, and then, um, I'm researching one almost done in engineering. I should have disruptors here, but disruptors are very easy to get. It's not... usually have them, so... You can just, like... I'm just gonna, like, see how many shits I can build, but... Another funny thing is that you can get insanely inflated fleet number like uh fleet cap sorry fleet power numbers if you hit 90 percent of asian it's not representative of how strong you are but the game gives you like a really high number so it'll scare off people also you can't get tributized which is pretty fucked up if i had yellow computers which i was researching and then i bought the marauder leaders i would get to 90 percent or i'd get to like 85 percent yeah i'm just gonna see how much i can build um, this should be disruptors, and then maybe you have like one or two more high level components, but that's kind of it. Oh man, my command side is so pathetic. Okay, 150 naval cap of ships. I'm um, just gonna instant build that. What is that? Wait, that's literally like just two K per twenty. So that's like fourteen K fleet power. But like I said, it goes up a lot higher as soon as you have a uh, nine percent evasion. But yeah, this is TOS. Oh yeah, I'm also not even fucking using my second GA, so like if I take the GA off, the fleet power drops. And if I put it on it goes up. If I uh re-elected my ruler, it would go up again. So, this build, I would say, is extremely potent at year 35, but it's super RNG dependent. It is super weak to early game attacks. And also, you kind of need to, you need to snowball somehow because the only, one of the big reasons why you have such high pop efficiency is like you have Sonic Supremacy running, Favorite Society running, and uh, you have like um, these insane base production bonuses to everything, so it's even more magnified. But when they wear off, you will just lose like like 60% pop efficiency, like 60% production of jobs. It'll just disappear, and then you are gonna have to cope with that somehow. Also, like if you were looking at my research, I unemployed a lot of researchers to get metallurgists, you you might fall a bit behind on research compared to other people. Even though you are playing bio, so you have 60% research speed. And you have a principal catalyst who's giving you, you have two researchers, that's why your research speed is so high. But yeah, that's TOS. Just don't fuck up the timings, it's probably like the big thing you can uh, mess up on.